Julian the Apostate, an emperor of Rome, was known for being the last pagan to rule the empire and for trying to make paganism the dominant religion in the Roman Empire and for also trying to push back the influence and power of Christianity. But he failed, dying nearly two years later in Phrygarium, with all of his work being undone by the next emperor. But what if that wasn't the case? What if my boy Julian survived? But first, context. The man that would become Julian would be born in the year 331 AD in Constantinople to Julius Constantius, younger brother of Constantine the Great, and Bastilia, a Greek woman. Six years later, Constantine would die, leading conscient to Conscientius II, massacring many of his relatives to secure his power, leaving only a few alive, including Julian and his half-brother Gallius. After the massacre, Julian would move around over the years to different cities and guardianships. One of the most important guardianships would be under Eubinus, who, where he would be taught by a pagan Gothic slave who would have a great influence on Julian's life. Many years later, when Julian was 20, he would give up Christianity and convert to paganism specifically Neoplatonism, which I will get more into later. But anyway, skipping all the way to 360, Julian would be proclaimed Augustus by his soldiers in Paris after winning a major battle, but would act as if he wasn't for several months until November, where he began to openly use the title. In the spring, Julian would lead his arm army into Alemanni territory, and capture their king. Julian would later claim, claim that this Alemanni king was working with Constantius and encouraged the king to raid the border. And soon, the two were on the road to civil war. But before any major battle could happen, Constantius would die on November 3rd, with it being claimed in his will that Julian was the rightful successor to Constantine leading him to be the next ruler of the Roman Empire as a whole. After returning to Constantinople and overseeing Constantius's burial, Julian would begin to change Roman administration. Julian believed that Constantine was to blame for the current state of Roman administration due to abandoning the traditions of the past, and would conduct a series of major reforms, including but not limited to dealing with corruption, reforming the tax system, and overall lowering imperial authority in cities. After that, he would spend some time in Antioch before starting his campaign into Persia, which would be launched to gain the support of the Eastern Roman army and to gain glory for himself, which on March 5th, March 5th 363, Julian, despite many bad omens against the campaign, left Antioch towards the Euphrates, and after two months of marching and trickery, Julian and his army finally reached the Persian capital, the heavily fortified Sassafon, and would win a battle at the city's gates, but would not capture the city. With the main army of Persia approaching, the War Council decided that it would be not the best idea to siege the city, and on June 6, would retreat back to Roman borders. During the retreat, Julian's army would be attacked several times, and during one of those engagements, Julian decided to fight without his armor, taking only his sword, and would receive a wound to the liver and to the intestines, and would die three days later, saying, you have won, Galilean. Realizing upon his death, Christianity would rise to power again, and this time for good. Now, with the context over, how would Julian survive in this timeline? The way I feel that Julian would survive uh, even this timeline is for him not to go on the Persian campaign. 
In this timeline, he listens to the omens that tells him not to go, and stays in Antioch. Well, what would happen now that Julian is is not going through with the campaign? Well, he would have no other choice but to continue with his religious reforms, unsure about the support from the Eastern Army. Julian would also continue with his efforts to suppress Christianity. He would also try to prop up paganism, well, his own unique brand of paganism, which focused more on the god Helios, rather than the typical Roman pagan religion. Would Julian try to attack the Persians? I imagine he would want to, but he would likely be preoccupied as the Alamanni would invade Gaul in 365, and two years later might have to deal with the Great Conspiracy, which would take some time to resolve, and it would be unknown if he could, well, win these wars. But, because I think he is a capable strategist, and also for the sake of the theory, I will say Julian succeeds in these wars and keeps the empire together. There will probably be some time of peace after this. Well, unless a major revolt happens in this time. However, one thing that will happen will be the arrival of the Goths, who will arrive in hundreds of thousands, seeking asylum to escape the Huns, which a 45-year-old Julian would have to deal with. And that is where I'm going to leave it. Overall, the greatest difference in this timeline would be the religious ones, as Christianity would be pushed back due to Julian was starting the persecutions and was showing paganism back to the state religion of the empire, as well as creating a new kind of Hellenic paganism with Helios as the primary god and high priest as well that may replace Christianity in this timeline, as Due to him being around longer, he may have already chosen an heir, an heir that would replace him when he dies, and would continue his ideas after his death, changing Europe as we knew it in the early Middle Ages. But of course, this is only one timeline. Who knows what would happen if Julian actually survived and succeeded with his dreams? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please share it if you really like it, and also leave a like and subscribe for more content. See you guys around next time.